Hi everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we check out how to set the wing as a recording interface for Logic. Let's open Logic. First, we'll start with an empty session. So click New Project, Empty Project, and go Choose. Here is where the magic happened. You want to do audio track, uh, for sure, because the wing can only uh, send audio signal. The first input that you want to use will be input one. I'm guessing it's really up to you there if you want to set up something else. Uh, make sure that you click sending for the input if you want to use monitor ring back uh, directly into the console with logic as a virtual sound check or just straight playback. Uh, you can select sending, but I would suggest you to do mono. So you go into output, mono, mono one. You're gonna click ascending. Uh, you wanna record, enable all your track. That will save you a lot of time. And the number of track you can record all at, at the same time is 48. So now we've got all or 48 input or 48 sources that we choose in the wing itself. I'm gonna send to USB one through 48 into Logic. Now to save on some space, on the track count actually what we can do is group together all or stereo input i know seven and eight are my overhead i know that i don't need channel eight to be by itself uh, i know for sure that nine and ten are my stereo base i'm running a stereo rig on base i can delete 10 by itself uh, same thing for guitar it's a helix and i got in 13 14 like a stereo keyboard rig and this is basically how you save tracks because it's the same amount of input that you're having but you just make it shorter on a smaller amount of tracks uh, stereo tracks for your stereo input or everything that you want to have hard pan left and right now make sure that you selected all your input select record press the record button and you're pretty much good to go to record 48 track now that you got 48 track recorded right now i got nothing going on because i'm at home i don't have any band playing but if you are in a studio session and you have a band that are listening to headphones what you want to do and here's a personal trick of mine you don't have to do this but if you have a wing you have the luxury of do this really quick what you want to do is make sure that all the output of your track are the same number as the input why you want to do this on the wing itself you have a main and an alternate input when recording on the wing itself if you use it for monitoring you probably have done some eq work some compression uh, light stuff just to make it comfortable for the player to enjoy himself enjoy his playing while he's tracking and everything or if you're doing a full band you probably want to apply some low cut some compression once you got that down uh, if you play back a session and just send the master of dry track because keep in mind that when you send an output from the wing directly into logic it will send a dry track so no eq is just post gain no low cut no nothing to make sure that the player hear back the same thing that they were listening a few seconds ago when they were tracking, you want to switch the console into alternate mode. And I'm going to show you how to do this now. On the wing, every channel has two different input, a main input and an alternate input. So you want to set this as your preamp, except when you are doing virtual sound check or as we're doing right now, listen back to something that we recorded. The easy way to do this is set your console to have the main input as your preamp and the alternate input as your DAW back. We want every single preamp that we send to be sent back into the console when we're playing back our session on Logic. The way to do this is to go in the routing menu of every channel, select the input that you want to use. Let's say in our case, we want to use USB return one and two. On the second input, we want to use USB return three, four, and so on. Once you've set that for every channel that you're recording, here's the fun trick. There is two ways to do this. In the setup menu, you have a main input or an alternate input selection. 
But this is the complicated way to do it. What I did is I made myself a custom button so I can switch between main and alternate input in just a press of a knob. So that way I can play back some track from Logic back. I can only listen to it myself and I keep I will keep the band on the main input. And if I want the band to listen back to their track with their monitor mix and everything like if they were playing in the room but only in their ear, I'm pressing the alternate input. That way the band is listening to the same thing as they were tracking. They will know if they need to change something. They will know if they need to change the way they perform or anything. This is a cool trick that I've learned to do with Logic and the Wing. Uh, you can probably apply that to every DAW as long as you can select an output other than the main for all your tracks. So here you have it. This is how I record into Logic with the Wing and how I set up my uh, tape return to act like on an analog console back in the day. So thanks everybody for watching. Please like this video if you liked it. If you don't like it, you can press the thumb down. Uh, please subscribe to the channel if you like that kind of stuff. I have way more stuff about the Wing and maybe some DAW stuff too, but it's I'm more a live guy. Thanks if you just subscribed and I'll see you guys later.